we're going to chart the map for Mahatma Gandhi now. I have a workspace prepared. I've got the Star of Creation, the blank one. I have the conversion table for the alphabet to numbers. And very important that you just pay attention within that is that we have some of the numbers or letters that are um, highlighted in yellow. And these are letter combinations like C-H-A-H. -H. Um, and there's also a final M and a final P. Now the finals are very important um, people miss them out sometimes. This is the final letter of the surname. So the very, very, very last letter of the surname. It does not count if it is the last M within the name and then the surname still follows. And that goes for, for both M and P. So people sometimes forget those. Just check those. Um, I must say in all the years I've done soul plan, I have not ever had a final M or a P. Um, but uh, I have seen some charts of, of students and they have them in. Um, but for me personally, people I've read for, no, never M or a P. So those ones I always check for. Um, your C-H-T-A-T-H-T-Z and W-H. C uh, CH, I've mentioned already, AH, watch out for those. And we're going to be seeing one of those within um, our chart for Mahatma Gandhi today. And also, when you do the AHs, CHs, THs, and things like that, um, even if it's between two words, so let's say you've got the, um, let's say we do CH, if your word ends on a C and the next word starts on the H, that'll be considered a CH. Okay? So we're going to do that, very important to watch out for those combinations. And then we're also going to uh, have a chart in here for numbers to symbols. So let's get cracking. The first thing you want to do is to write the name. And you're going to write the name with hyphens between each of the letters. Now the very important thing here is to make sure that you don't misspell uh, the word or that you miss a letter or anything like that. Um, and there's no spaces within the names over here. So in this case we have three words and we're going to write this as one long word with a hyphen between each of the letters. And the hyphens is just to give us a bit of a spacing and so that we can keep track of what we are working with. Once you've got that, you want to check the name to see if there's any combination numbers, um, so AHs, CHs, and things like that. And when you find a combination um, letter, then you want to just put a circle around that so that you highlight it so that you know what you're working with. Once you've done that, we are going to then map through the numbers. So I'm just checking to see that there's no THs and TZs or WHs, none of those, just a CH, and so we're going to start mapping. We're going to take one letter at a time, and I like to scratch the letter out. That way I can keep track of what, I've do, what I'm doing, and each letter has a numeric value. Now, when you map a lot of charts by hand, you get to know your numbers, and this um, conversion chart, uh, I won't say it becomes obsolete, but it's something that's just a reference on the side that you would use to check. Uh, sometimes you forget a, a number value or so, but um, yeah, we, chat, we check through them. The CH, you'll see that is one value for that. So map each of the numbers, and again, you put a hyphen between each of your numbers as well. And again, this is, you'll see as I'm going, I am scratching out the letters that I've already done. Sometimes also handy to work with different colors. Once you've done that, we are going to map the numbers around the Star of Creation, and we're gonna start with the Worldly Challenge, and we're gonna work our way clockwise around the entire circle. Once you've gotten to the end, you are going to keep going clockwise around this chart. So let's go. Starting with our first number, that's going to go on the Worldly Challenge. The next one goes to the Spiritual Challenge. The next number goes to the Worldly Talent. Spiritual Talent, Worldly Goal, Spiritual Goal, etc, etc. As with the letters of the alphabet, I also scratch out the number as I put them down. That way I can keep track of what I have put down already and what must still be put down. Um, some people try to just put their finger on it and <laughs> it is not always pretty because if you miss a number, your chart is not going to work. 
so make sure that you keep all of your numbers in place and you keep track of what's going and you're going to put pluses between each of the numbers as you go around so instead of hyphens this time around we're putting pluses because we're going to be adding these numbers up in the end so work your way around the chart you'll notice as you get to the beginning again you're going to keep going around and around and around until there's no more numbers left so we just keep cycling through clockwise i'm just going to finish this off and we stop when the numbers are done okay next we need to calculate each of these equations so luckily i have a calculator ready and i've done my calculations already but this part even if i'm good at maths i would still sit with a calculator and i would actually calculate them just to make absolutely sure that i got my calculations right so we go around and we just work out all of our values and now for the fun part we want to look for any numbers that are greater than 22 so that we've got a 28 43 29 21 is lower than 22 so that stays the way it is 48 and the 8 is also less now for these ones we're going to distill them down so we want to calculate our numbers and we want to distill them down to numbers that are lower than 22 so looking at our first number that's going to be a 2 plus 8 that's going to give you a 10 we're going to work our way around and calculate the rest, 4 plus 3, and then a 2 plus 9. The 21 is already less than 22, so that's going to stay exactly the way it is. So anything greater than 22 gets distilled down. 8 remains 8. After that, we need number pairs. So in Sol Plan, our numbers are always listed in pairs. And so you need a beginning number and you also need another number after that. And so to calculate the second number, you look for any number that are um, higher than nine. So we basically want a single digit number as our second number. So anything that's got two digits, we will distill down further in the same way. So the 10 is two digits. We need to distill that down. So it becomes 1 plus 0, which is 1. And so our number combination is going to be 10, 1. And we put that into the worldly challenge. The next one is a 7. This is already a single digit number, so it remains 7. And it, we get another 7. 11 needs to be distilled down. So it becomes 1 plus 1. It gives you 2. So our number is a 11, 2. And we just jot that down. And we put a hyphen in between. 21 is a double digit, so that's going to be 2 plus 1, which is going to give you 3. So this will be 21, 3, and we put that into the spiritual talent. Next we go to 12, that's also a double digit, so 1 plus 2 equals 3. It takes us right back to the beginning of maths. <laughs> and that's a 12, 3, and then the 8 is already a single digit, so it becomes an 8, 8. Next we're going to have to calculate the soul destiny. And so I'm just clearing the space over here so we can have a working surface to work with and just neaten things up a little bit. And basically what we're going to be doing is we are going to be listing all of our numbers that we have. So 10, 1, 7, 7, 11, 2, 21, 3, 12, 3, and 8, 8. And we're going to put those in one column or in two different columns. So let's quickly write those down. And I like to put a nice space between each of the numbers because we want to basically calculate two separate numbers here. Again, just double check that you've got your numbers correct because um, sometimes what happens when we get to the end of this, the calculation does not match up. And then you know that you've got to start over again. So starting with the big numbers, we're going to calculate those. That gives us a 69 and then in small numbers, um, this one gives us a 24 and now we're going to distill everything down same rules as before So the first number must be less than 22 or 22 and less So 6 plus 9 is going to give you a 15 and then same with 24 that must be a single digit number So 2 plus 4 is going to give you a 6 And so 15 6 must match out as well. So 1 plus 5 must give you a 6. If for some reason your second number is not the same value as um, that, then it's not going to work. It's going to be incorrect and you're going to have to recalculate. So this is going to be a 15, 6 
and we can remove all of our calculations. And the last step that we have is to actually map the symbols and you're going to go one at a time and check the symbol and draw it in to the best of your abilities. Now, I find that um, when you draw the symbols, sometimes you will actually gain extra information. Um, this is something that we learn within the solar plan system itself. So you don't have to worry too much about that as a kinesiologist. You're just interested in actually getting the map and getting the chart done. Um, you could go ahead and skip the, the symbols if you wanted to. I quite like the symbols. I'm a visual person, so it gives me extra insight into the character and what the person is all about. So this is also something that you get used to. You get to know what the numbers are with the symbols and that you can map quite easily once you know what you're doing. And that's it. This is how to map a solar plan. And now we're gonna go ahead and look at the demo chart. Okay, so before we continue, let's quickly recap the process. We start off with the person's name, the full name as it is on the birth certificate. Next, you write the name as a long word with no spaces between the letters. You just put hyphens between the letters, so no spaces between the words. You circle any combination letters. We're looking for AH, CH, SH, TH, TZ, WH, and we're looking for a final M or a P. And that final M or P would be the very last letter of the word. So any word, any letter that's sitting in the middle of a word, because now we were basically working with one long word, there's no spaces. So that M or P must be the very last letter. This is often some um, one that people forget about. Once you've got that, we're going to map the numbers for the word and make sure that you do not miss each or any of the letters. You want to be sure that you've got the whole lot in place. And remember, your combination numbers, they will usually have one number associated with them. Next, you're going to map the numbers around the Star of Creation, and we always start with the, the top right-hand corner, which is the worldly challenge, and then we work our way um, clockwise around the chart and we keep going clockwise keep going clockwise until all the numbers are there so starting with your first number on the worldly challenge you're going to map over around and when you get to the end you're going to keep mapping around and around and around until you've got all of the numbers in place next you're going to calculate the numbers so for each of the areas we're going to calculate and this is where a calculator comes in really handy Make sure you do not make a mistake here. Any number that's higher than 22, we will distill down um, by adding the numbers up. When you've got a 28, it becomes 2 plus 8, and that gives you 10. When you've got a 43, it becomes 4 plus 3, etc., etc. So you work your way around the chart, make sure that the numbers that you're distilling down would be less than 22, or 22, that's your max. Now, the numbers in Soul Plan are always displayed in pairs. So we always have one number followed by a second number. And the second number is always one digit. So if you have any numbers here that are two digits, we need to distill those down as well. So 10 is a double digit. So it's going to be 1 plus 0. It's going to give you a 1. 11 is a double digit. So that's going to become 1 plus 1 to get you 2. And that'll be your second part of your number. So you're going to work your way all the way around and make sure that you've got a um, two number combination. Next, we want to find the soul destiny. And we do that by adding up all of the numbers. Now, I've just put them as two wide columns over here to make it easier for, just to make it a visual on it. So you add up the first part of the, all of the numbers and the second part of all of the numbers. And you're going to distill those down in the same way as before. So your numbers must be 22 or less. So once you've got that value, that goes to the center of the chart. Next, what you do is you map out the symbols and you place them into their correct positions. And that's it. You've mapped a chart. So I encourage you to try this. Um, it's actually quite fun once you get started with it. it. 
starts off really slow in the beginning but it does speed up the more you get used to it now if you want to learn more about soul plan you can visit my website soulplan.co.za uh, and i also teach soul plan um, so if you are interested you can let me know